Hello guys. This is our channel Facts of Nature. Today we are going to see about the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami in Japan. The 2011 earthquake off the Pacific coast of Tohoku was a magnitude 9.0 to 9.1 NW undersea megatrust earthquake off the coast of Japan that occurred at 14. 46 JSD on Friday the 11th of March 2011, with the epicenter approximately 70 kilometers east of the Ashika Peninsula of Tohoku and the hypocenter at an underwater depth of approximately 29 kilometers. The earthquake is often referred to in Japan as the Great East Japan Earthquake and is also known as the 2011 Tohoku Earthquake, the Great Sendai Earthquake, the Great Tohoku Earthquake, and the Great Earthquake of March 11th. It was the most powerful earthquake ever recorded in Japan, and the fourth most powerful earthquake in the world since modern record keeping began in 1900. The earthquake triggered powerful tsunami waves that may have reached heights of up to 40.5 meters in Miyago in Tohoku's Iwate Prefecture, and which, in the Sendai area, traveled at 700 kilometers h and up to 10 kilometers inland. Residents of Sendai had only 8 to 10 minutes of warning, and more than 100 evacuation sites were washed away. The earthquake moved Honshu the main island of Japan 2.4 meter east, shifted the earth on its axis by estimates of between 10 centimeters and 25 centimeters increased earth's rotational speed by 1.8 seconds per day and generated infrasound waves detected in perturbations of the low orbiting gravity field and steady state ocean circulation explorer satellite initially the earthquake caused sinking of part of honshu's pacific coast by up to roughly a meter but after about three years the coast rose back and kept on rising to exceed its original height. The tsunami swept the Japanese mainland and killed over 10,000 people, mainly through drowning, though blunt trauma also caused many deaths. The latest report from the Japanese National Police Agency report confirms 15,899 deaths, 6,157 injured, and 2,529 people missing across 20 prefectures, and a report from 2015 indicated 228. 863 people were still living away from their home in either temporary housing or due to permanent relocation. A report by the National Police Agency of Japan on 10 September 2018 listed 121,778 buildings as total collapsed, with a further 280,926 buildings half collapsed and another 699. 180 buildings partially damaged. The earthquake and tsunami also caused extensive and severe structural damage in northeastern Japan, including heavy damage to roads and railways as well as fires in many areas, and a dam collapse. Japanese Prime Minister Naoto Kan said, in the 65 years after the end of World War II, this is the toughest and the most difficult crisis for Japan. Around 4.4 million households in northeastern Japan were left without electricity and 1.5 million without water. The tsunami caused nuclear accidents, primarily the level 7 meltdowns at three reactors in the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant complex and the associated evacuation zones affecting hundreds of thousands of residents. Many electrical generators ran out of fuel. The loss of electrical power halted cooling systems, causing heat to build up. The heat buildup caused the generation of hydrogen gas. Without ventilation, gas accumulated within the reactor containment structures and eventually exploded. Residents within a 20 km radius of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant and a 10 km radius of the Fukushima Daini nuclear power plant were evacuated. Early estimates placed insured losses from the earthquake alone at 14 US dollars and 50 cents to 34.6 billion dollars. The Bank of Japan offered 15 trillion yen to the banking system on the 14th of March in an effort to normalize market conditions. 
the World Bank's estimated economic cost was 235 billion US dollars, making it the costliest natural disaster in history.